Hi, welcome to Beyond Science 2. I'm your host, Jasmina. How can you mend a broken heart? In 2016, the world lost two of its greatest artists in film, Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. It was Carrie Fisher who passed away first at the age of 60, and fans all over the world could not believe the shocking news of the death of everyone's favorite princess. In a shocking twist of fate, a day later, Fisher's mother, Debbie Reynolds, succumbed to an unknown cause and passed away at the age of 84. Many of us could not dismiss the coincidence of just how close together their deaths were and many of us suppose that it was the loss of her daughter and a broken heart that finally took the life of Debbie Reynolds. Dying of a broken heart may sound too poetic, but it is a condition that is not entirely rare. Called Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, after being first discovered in Japan, the condition mimics aspects of a heart attack except that no major arteries are clogged or clotted. What happens is that due to the extreme stress or shock, the heart begins to malform and turn into a pot-like shape, similar to that of a pot used by Japanese fishermen to capture octopi, a taco subo. This malformation constricts the blood flow because of the combined influence of stress hormones and a stunned muscle. In the case of Debbie Reynolds' death, we can only theorize that she passed away due to the emotional stress after her daughter's death. According to Dr. Sunil Shah of St. George's at the University of London, we often use the term a broken heart to signify the pain of losing a loved one and our study shows that bereavement can have a direct effect on the health of a heart. This was further elaborated by the British Heart Foundation saying that about three quarters of people diagnosed with Tsubo cardiomyopathy have experienced significant emotional or physical stress prior to becoming unwell. And while a heart attack and Takotsubo cardiomyopathy do feel like they are the same versions of a cardiac arrest, they are not the same disease. Because the most common symptom of a broken heart is shortness of breath and chest pains. It can easily be mistaken for a heart attack. Arrhythmia or irregular heartbeats also contribute to a broken heart. However, a broken heart cardiomyopathy is symptom can only happen when the body experiences extreme and sudden emotional or physical stress, unlike a heart attack which is caused by clotting and clogging that has built up over time. Also, to distinguish it further from a heart attack, a broken heart has no physical damage and patients easily recover right after, usually within a day or a few days, without any long-term negative effects on their bodies. And people who have suffered heart attacks need at least a month to fully recover. While death is uncommon in people who experience broken heart cardiomyopathy, it can still be fatal to people who are experiencing severe depression or anxiety. Moreover, the elderly are more at risk of death from a broken heart mainly because of weakened muscles due to old age. While their true cause of this cardiomyopathy is still unknown, it would seem that the stress-based theory holds a little more water than the rest, since even in people who are physically, mentally, and emotionally, the body still reacts negatively when it is exposed to stress and when hormones are released. Broken heart syndrome, which is in fact a real thing, according to Matthew Lorber, a psychiatrist at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital, is when someone finds out some shocking news, typically terrible news, and there's a massive release of those stress hormones that are released into the bloodstream, and the heart is then bombarded with these stress hormones. Lorber further elaborates that the news could be anything from getting fired from work or receiving divorce papers. Furthermore, good news can also contribute to stress, especially when it is delivered in a sudden and shocking way that will cause the body to release these hormones. Anything that causes a shock or startles can cause a broken heart syndrome, Lorber explains. And while anyone can experience broken heart cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome, a study reveals that it is more commonly experienced by women. Also, individuals with neurologic problems such as seizures are also prone to cardiomyopathy. And as mentioned earlier, broken heart syndrome is more fatal to the elderly due to their weakened physiology. In cases where a weak heart cannot manage the changes brought about by stress, Lorber says that it can lead to fluid actually getting into the lungs. It could lead to dangerous changes in blood pressure, and it can even lead to heart attack, which can lead to death. Even more to the point, Dr. Wright, chairman of neurology at North Shore University Hospital in New York and Long Island Jewish Medical Center, explains that the cardiac arrhythmias brought about by broken heart syndrome may also lead to stroke. He says that we know stress can induce cardiac arrhythmias, irregular rhythms in the heart that can cause clots to be formed and thus produce large strokes. The loss of a loved one or the end of a relationship may be painful for us to experience. To some of us, the heavy emotional ride it brings is quite unbearable and quite literally slowly breaks our hearts that all we could wish for is for it to end. It does happen in some cases, but having to die of a broken heart is rare. But it is the rare occurrences that make this medical mystery a lot more intriguing, if not poetic. And in the case of Debbie Reynolds, after Carrie Fisher's death, it was indeed a broken heart that answered her call. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this interested you in some sort of way. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye!